very surprised if queer people flock to Kentucky en masse. At this point, it's no longer really safe for us. Teenagers rallying late this afternoon at Central Park in Old Louisville. Many saying that they're frightened and worried after Kentucky lawmakers passed anti-transgender legislation. A manual high school student telling us her school is the only place she feels safe anymore. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight at 6. It is our top story. I'm Doug Profit. WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Jessica Farley are at uh, Central Park right now. Isaiah, what did these high school students tell you? Well, Doug, they're saying this is an issue of life or death here. Trans youth speaking here today, saying that Senate Bill 150 violates their basic human rights. Now take a look at some of the video we got here today for that rally that lasted about an hour and a half. It ended around 430, 435 or 445, excuse me. Now some of these teenagers, they assured me depression and suicide rates will go up as a result of this bill, which will likely become law by the end of the month. And they weren't alone in voicing opposition to it. Allies, parents and teachers also spoke in support of the transgender community here today. Now we spoke to to a 16 year old transgender girl who didn't want to be named but shared some of her story. She's been on hor uh, hormone therapy for about a month and wonders where she and others go from here. She tells me there's a misconception on what the kids here today stand for. We aren't groomers. We're not trying to turn every possible kid trans or gay or bisexual or whatever other uh, term in the LGBTQ community. That's not our goal. We want our trans children, gay children, and asexual children, so on and so forth, to be safe. We want them to be alive. She's also a manual student, by the way. Now, for a little background here, Senate Bill 150 started out as a bill related to school, requiring teachers use the pronouns matching each student's biological sex, regardless of their gender, gender identity. But it was amended to an all-encompassing anti-trans bill to include bans on all gender affirming care before the age of 18. Now that includes both surgical and non-surgical procedures. That means puberty blockers. That means mental health care. Now this bill is expected to be vetoed by the governor, but then after that, also likely to be overridden by the Republican supermajority in the General Assembly. I'm live here in Central Park. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side. Isaiah, thank you. If you are somebody you know is feeling mental distress from the anti-LGBTQ legislation, there are resources available to you. Help or support is available all the time at the new Suicide Prevention Hotline, and that number is 988.